Five, four, three, two, one. Light it up. All right, good job. We're going to light the uh, Christmas tree. We also honor the men and women who answer the call to duty, who volunteer for our military. They answer that call. They say, take me. Here I am. And they go forward to defend our democracy, defend our right to have this Christmas tree, to light it up here in the holiday season. So it's very important that we honor our service members. And this is a great tradition in Illinois where boys and girls all across our state put together homemade holiday cards, Christmas cards of their own making, and then we deliver them to our service members who are in military hospitals all over our country as well as abroad. And we also give uh, Christmas cards to those who are working in the hospital, our service members who are working there. There are thousands and thousands of folks who are there. And I've been doing this for some time, and I want to thank all the boys and girls who are part of this great mission. This is really a fun one, this ceremony each year. I actually was riding down on the elevator earlier when this wonderful bus full of school children entered the, the building and started laughing and jumping up and down with joy, and I really think that says it all. Uh, but I am grateful that Governor Quinn leads us in the midst of our joy each year to take the time to remember those for whom the holidays aren't pure joy. Uh, the, today's tree lighting ceremony and, and the holiday car drive are really wonderful opportunities for us to remember uh, that there are those whose sacrifices are enabling seasons like this, that enable our joy like this. That is, of course, our soldiers, our sailors, our airmen, our Marines, and our Coast Guardsmen. They might be less visible as the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan recede, but they are still serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, in Germany, in Korea, really all over the globe, in places that are far from home and from family. And that's something that's difficult at any time of the year, but that is especially difficult during the holiday season. So I want to thank all of the kids here who have taken the time to make a card, and all those who will in the weeks to come, for bringing a piece of our country to our troops this holiday season, because you're helping us to say to them thanks, and helping them to know that we remember them even as we celebrate and have our season of joy and festivity. It will be a great honor for me to join Governor Quinn as we deliver some of those cards to injured service members at Walter Reed in D.C. later this month. But we're also going to remember here today our fallen, those service members who have given the last full measure of devotion in serving this country since 9-11. We are honored to have with us several of our Gold Star families who are going to help us to remember their loved ones by placing an ornament in their memory on the tree. These are families who see school children like this full of life and energy and joy, and it hurts. And so it is our honor to remember with them today their loved ones and what they've done for our country, what they do to help make seasons like this possible. Thank you for all of you for joining us to celebrate and to remember today.